Shale gas is a natural gas trapped in bands of rock underground in horizontal deposits. So, whereas with oil you can tap into reserves and extract it, with shale gas you need to break up the rock to free the gas. This means drilling horizontally and then using hydraulic fracturing to free the deposits. Fuling shale gas field in southwest China's Chongqing municipality is the country's first and largest shale gas field. It produces 17 million cubic meters of shale gas every day, enough for 34 million households. The field has a proven reserve of over 600 billion cubic meters of shale gas. That's the equivalent of six 10 million ton mega oil fields. Beneath my feet, right now, shale gas is on its way to eight provinces and cities along the Yangtze River. So, does shale gas have the potential to lead China's clean energy revolution? This is Xinhua Special, and I'm Helen Bentley. With over 1.3 billion people, China is the world's largest energy producer and consumer. And despite discovering shale gas in the 1960s, it wasn't until 2009 that China started to exploit it as part of measures to address its coal-dominated energy mix. For now, only the US, Canada and China can commercially produce this natural gas. Last year, China produced 8 billion cubic meters of shale gas, enough for 44 million households. President Xi Jinping has made it clear that China is committed to clean energy and green development. In fact, China's already the world's largest investor and innovator in the energy industry. And it's well on its way to achieving its target of cutting carbon emissions per unit of GDP by 60 to 65 percent from 2005 levels by 2030. This is China's first operational shale gas well, right under my feet. It's pumping gas from 2,300 metres. By the end of this year, this field will have over 380 such wells, capable of producing over 10 billion cubic metres of gas. And this will reduce carbon emissions by 12 million tonnes annually, equal to planting 110 million trees every year. China has an estimated 25 trillion cubic metres of shale gas reserves. However, its proven reserves only stand at 800 billion cubic metres. To tackle environmental risks, Fuling has set up stations that monitor air, water and soil quality. And to protect the local water supply, the water used for hydraulic fracking is taken from a river dozens of kilometres away. Over the coming years across China, coal-produced energy consumption will be restricted, with clean and low-carbon energy sources set to step up to do the heavy lifting. This increase in non-fossil fuels and natural gas will account for more than 68% of the total expected increase in energy consumption. There are still a lot of challenges in terms of shale gas extraction, and China is designing its own solutions and processes. One of those are these. These are a Type 3000 fracturing truck. And don't let their size fool you. This is a high-powered, albeit compact, processing plant on wheels. A useful function for a machine that must be installed in remote areas or on rough terrain. These big boys are actually designed and made in China and can, can cost up to 3 million US dollars each. Less than 10 years ago, China had yet to exploit shale gas, and now it's a leader in terms of research and development in this field. If this is anything to go by, the next decade for China is said to be a high-energy green revolution. See you next time.